ass. Wash it down like a motherfucking face rat. Bitch, I'm the one who gon' make your whole day bad. Stay off the net, you a snake. With What's up, gang? We back with another one today, man. Finally, we here, man. Quando Rondo, end of story. So you done learned all about the whole King Von situation, the Lil Durk NBA young boy beef. You done learned about all that. Right. We finally here to the other side. You know, it's two sides to every story. You know what I'm saying? And we don't pick sides over here. I listen to Quando. I listen to Young Boy. I listen to Dirk. I listen to Vaughn. You know, you got a lot of people out there that like to pick sides. Like, they know these people. They don't. But Quando Rondo, in the story, this was basically his side of the story. Um, in the story, it was like a play on from King Vaughn Crazy Stories. Mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, I'm going to let you hear it. See what he had to say. No, is this after Vaughn got shot? Yeah, he dropped this. He dropped, I don't know how... how, how but this is afterwards. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how and, long he waited. He called this end of story. Yeah. See, don't start no biased stuff though, because I know nah, you, I mean, I mean, you know you're a not, fan of Vaughn, so don't even, start being biased over here. I mean, just he's gonna name this end of story. I mean, there's you know Vaughn can't respond. That's why it's the end of the story. <laughs> I mean, it made sense to me. <laughs> just for them, obviously he didn't start it, so right. I'm pretty sure he had no intentions of killing Vaughn or what. He didn't kill him, but, you know, Vaughn being dead. And it looked like he was trying to help him in the video. A lot of people saying he was trying to take his chain, but to me, it looked like he was trying to help him, like, stay up because Vaughn was falling down. So he was, like, Vaughn was, like, holding on to him, it looked like. So Quando was kind of, like, going down with him. And then one of Vaughn homies came up and punched Quando off of Vaughn. But um, you can hear him screaming, like, he shot, he shot in the video. So it was, like, like he had intentions that I think people's problem was that he came out like, and eventually, like, after a while, he started kind of making songs and was, it was kind of taunting at Vaughn, like, like, um, like, dissing him, kind of, like, 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 he planned to do that, like, he, uh, like, he took the shot or something. So, in other people words. took problem with that. But they was taunting him, so, like, I don't know what you'll come out and expect him to apologize. It, it was going to be up with him anyway. Like, Dirk and them weren't going to be like, oh, he apologized. We, it's all right. Y'all kill Vaughn. It's all right. No, it was going to be beef either way. So, if it's going to be beef, I might as well. I'm not going to sit here and be apologizing. He didn't start it. He didn't start it. They finished it. That's the end of the story. Yeah. In case y'all wondering, this this is really good. Yeah, then tearing that up. Yeah, here we go. Facts. Y'all talk the gangster stuff, but cry when somebody get knocked. He talking to the fans right there. For all the fans that now, if it was just because it happened to be King Von, that's why everybody was so upset. But all y'all want to hear about, all King Von rapped about was killing people and all this. But when that actual person gets killed, y'all crying and stuff. Oh, they did this, they did him wrong, all this. But this is what y'all want to hear. So when they actually, when they actually doing what they rapping about, it's a problem. That's facts to me. Post job, y'all talk that gangster shit, but cry when the nigga get locked. Post the walking hammer, so I still ain't got my point of cause. If she was on that, what they wanna say to me? Fuck what they say, I understood. We had to make it home. I put that on the neighborhood before they bust my dome. Tell me right, right, right. Pick your brother on the ground, gon' pick your man's up. That white be screaming selfish, he should've never put his hands on. So that was a lot of people. I think a lot of fans started picking sides and like started being upset with Quando. Cause he was like, he said, yo, brother on the ground, go pick him up. He basically like dissing him. But he, but who's, obviously he gonna pick his, his, his brother's side, Lil Tim. Lil Tim is the one that killed him. That's actually his, um, I think that's like his blood brother for real. So he's saying, um, he basically was saying, if your man's one had did the same for you, then that it shouldn't be your man's. 
The ground gon' pick your man's up. That white right, be screaming selfish. Should've never put his hands on. Put that's all the evidence. See the pussy nigga shut right up. Who the fuck said that? And little Tim is free. I think. I think. He is probably gonna win that case on self defense. I'm not sure, but he obviously they ain't. I don't know if the trial ever started or what, but he been for this three years ago. And he he been free, so he been, he went back to jail for some other stuff. But in terms of this, damn, this ain't went nowhere. So I don't know if they even. I think the police happy it was King Von, in my opinion. Like I don't even think they worried about that case. I mean, <clears throat> King Von wasn't no menace in, in Atlanta, probably. Yeah, but he was bringing it to Atlanta. Remember him and Dirk got a whole case in Atlanta for that shooting. He was bringing it to Atlanta. <laughs> Never put his hands on the foot. That's all the evidence. See the pussy nigga shut the right up. Who the fuck said that I was hot and I'm still white? Why would the bands so. set the racket spray? I ain't never had no show outside the A man on my head. That's what they say. That's all you got. Bitch, make it angry. Don't wanna bomb me back to back. Dirty clip bomb me. Jump out shade. That shit is shame. I'm in this way until they put me in my grave. We be on some block, I blow they block off in the streets, shit. We be on some fucking hills. Yeah. Mama's in the bitches, that's none at all. You probably wouldn't have your mask, but it won't hunt See, nowadays it's like a fan doing the police job. Y'all talk that gangsta shit, but cry when a nigga get low. I'm supposed to walk in hell. But shit, I still ain't got my point of call. Hey, if she was on the earth, what they wanna say they wrong. Fuck what they say, that's understood, we had to make it home. I put that on the neighborhood before they bust my dog. Don't tell me why I'm right. Hey, I'm dropping the back, but I stole what all them quick niggas only like that I had. What they don't know, he knocked out four niggas. They don't even know my ass. So many men, they want to kill me, feeling like Curtis Jackson. Whoa. No. You said I feel like Curtis now. Curtis Jackson. 50 Cent. 50 Cent? Yeah, yeah. Kill me, feeling like. No, many men don't feel like Curtis Jackson. Curtis Jackson. Whoa. They did say it's a bag on his head. They did. That's what he was saying in one part. There was rumors that they put a million on his head. He said, a million, that's all y'all got. Basically, tell him up the price. I don't give a fuck at all, I feel. My man's ain't doing no wrong. And if your man's want to do the same, need to stop fucking with him. Feel what I'm saying? And everybody take this shit again. I already know it's my man, that shit. You know, just like you said, if the shoe was on the other foot, you know, y'all be praising Vaughn. You know, this was a situation where Vaughn and Dirk was together and Dirk hopped out the vehicle and shot Quando's brother or something or shot Quando. You know, um, at the end of the day, trying to make it home. Yeah. You know, um, you know, I, I, I called him a pussy nigga for running up on him like that. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, just trying to set the record straight, man. This dude ran up on me, man. I mean, that's why I don't see why people was mad at Quando and Lil Tim. Like people was mad at Lil Tim. Like, oh, uh, he uh, it was just a fight. It was a one on one fight, and he wanted to hop out shooting. Y'all don't fight no more. But y'all praise when Vaughn talking about shooting people. <laughs> I mean, we're living in a time where right, no one and, is fighting. And, no more. and who was going? And in my opinion, if you was at, from the video, I don't think anybody should have hopped out. Lil Tim should have hopped out trying to help fight him because. Is Vaughn, he don't know what's going on. So, for one, the car parked in like this. It's not parked backwards to where he right. can see everything. So, he hopped out and turned. And that's where he see all the action. Quando's like down here because Vaughn hitting him. And then this whole King Vaughn entourage is coming. Because remember they said he pulled up, he was there by himself at first. Right. And then everybody followed behind. So, you see all these people running up. And you see your brother getting beat up. And you're supposed to be the shooter. Cause you ain't, Lil Tim ain't no rapper or nothing. You supposed to be the shooter. Duh, you gonna protect your brother. I mean, not just the shooter. I mean, he might be the one that got the gun. He might be the one that's the the the, the protector, the, the 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 security. I mean, that yeah. way you call him the security. Mm -hmm. You call him what you want to call him. Bottom line is, I mean, if someone's running up on my brother and I got a gun on me, I mean, they got, I'm gonna use it. And that's just the situation. So, I mean, it's it's sad. Um, yeah, it's sad that it had to be King Von. But I mean, you know, Kim Bond wasn't no squeaky clean person either. Exactly. You know what I mean? I, he, 
Live by, I'd say live by the gun, die by the gun. Right. Yeah. At the end of the day. Hey, you got you got shot the same way you shot other people. So you know, um, you know, just like you said, the song I just heard, man. You know, the same TikTok. <laughs> oh, we're talking about something about make a dance like TikTok. Yeah. Just like TikTok. <laughs> TikTok. Yeah, man. That's why I don't like the people who started, like, I don't know. I feel like all the people that, like, be picking sides be, like, 12, 13, 14-year-old teenagers and stuff. I don't know. And, and it makes sense now, you know, now that I heard this, the, 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 the song, you know, it really is the end of the story. You know, it's the end of the story. Y'all can take the body off my head. We did what we had to do. Whether it was Bond, whether it was someone else. If this was anyone else other than Bond, no one would be talking about this. They did what they had to do to make it home. And that's the bottom line. Someone ran up on them. The fight, you know, started. And this is the situation that, you know, the results of what happened. It just happened to be uh, a person that was getting some clout named King Bond. You know, but the end of the story is that this is the end. And, you know, there probably shouldn't be no retaliation on this one. For the simple fact that um, the people that, that shot him wasn't an aggressor. Mm -hmm. The aggressor was King Bond. Yeah. And he acted alone. He didn't even have his entourage with him. He acted alone. So, in the story. Yeah. But, you know, this basically was the start of the whole... We finna get into NBA Youngboy now. So, this was the whole start of him and, and Dirk beef. And um, we still got to do a um, Dirk interview with DJ Academics where he basically talked about the beef. And But he pretty much said in that interview that the, they were asking... What's up with the beef or whatever? And academics kept calling it a rap beef. And like, this ain't no rap beef. It's a fine beef. Right. So, no, Dirk's still trying to you know. That beef probably never be squashed because somebody Vaughn died behind it. So, But somehow it turned into more of a NBA young boy and Dirk beef than a Quan Rondo and Dirk beef. And it's not. I mean, you know, he said it right. This is a fine beef. This is exactly what I just said. Vaughn acted alone. Um, Dirk wasn't there. Uh, half the entourage wasn't there. This is something. Bond was who he was. He slid on somebody because that's who he is. He didn't need it. Bond, yeah, that makes him a realist. It's just like, I don't need no entourage to do what I do. Right. If I'm going to slide, I'm going to slide. I mean, I am who I am. That's what he said, right? Yeah. So now you got Derpy, you got a young boy that's going to beef over something about a person that acting on his own. At some point, you got to draw the line. The line is drawn. This was a, a, a single act. You know, you got to make a decision. Do we retaliate and destroy each other's careers? Or do we keep beefing with one another and move on? With, uh, and, 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 you know, we keep beefing and destroy each other's careers or do we move on from it? Two people, you know, uh, 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 Dirk, man, he ain't lost his best friend, his brother. You know, uh, that's a life-changing moment. You might have lost a lot of people along the way, but when you lose someone that's that close to you, you know, sometimes you say, you know what, this may not end well for me too, and I really am trying to live. Facts. You know, Vaughn acted alone. Vaughn did something. I wasn't there. No one else was there. Vaughn acted solely on his own, um, and, 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 you know, this was the result. Yeah, man. In the story. Hey, man. So, y'all drop more Quando Rondo. We finna get into Quando. I'm finna show him Young Boy. Um, you know, everybody from that camp, whatever. Not everybody, but, you know, no cap. But, yeah, y'all drop some old Quando songs that y'all want to see my dad react to, man. And make sure y'all leave a like, comment, subscribe. Hit that post notification bell. Gang, out.